Hi. Um, so um, that was a surprise for me when I got back from uh, from my travel, and uh, my wife actually got me a, a, a bricks and a really uh, carry on. So um, so I just thought I'm just gonna do a simple unboxing for for it. And um, the reason for this was that I was looking for a carry on. Uh, luggage for quite some time and uh, in, in replacement of my five years old uh, Ecolac that have uh, seen a better time and um, has followed me for at least the past uh, five years of travel and um, we were contemplating of uh, actually getting a uh, the Tumi Alpha 2 which is um, usually is on sales because right now it's really the Alpha 3 but unfortunately the Alpha 2 has been in great demand and um, we wouldn't be able to secure any unit so this is the bricks and really um, they claim to be uh, guaranteed for life in fact uh, I've done a few search on the internet and uh, it did say that it was actually guaranteed for life so let's see what's over here so it says that this is actually a baseline domestic carry-on expandable um, uh, spinner and um, I believe she got this from the uh, newly opened shop in uh, Gardens in Mid Valley. So it's one of the uh, travel travel shop uh, that actually brings in uh, bricks and really. So uh, this is really uh, the unboxing. And I have my dogs over here trying to uh, <laughs> keep me company while I'm doing this. Wow, nice. So this is how it looks like. Uh, just try to soak it up a little bit and uh, look at it wow the spinning is uh is, is really smooth this is this is uh unusually smooth as a as a spinner and um there's a front pocket over here uh, it's good enough to put uh air tickets and a passport and there's a front uh pocket with two zip so they have put in all these uh, papers as the uh, you know, to give a shape and uh, so that the uh, back in transportation will not be uh, flattened out as well so it's quite a deep pocket it goes all the way down at the bottom so this is uh, made to understand that this is a 21 inch uh, domestic um, which is uh, basically carry on and um, and I and I remember my wife saying that uh, the only place that this bag would not be accepted on a flight is on Asia, but uh, I don't I don't plan to uh, fly on Asia anytime soon, so that shouldn't be any problem. All right, so that's the front pocket. Now let's uh, see what else is on here. Nice uh, little. This is a metal um, handle. Well, it looks like leather over here. So there could be uh, some issues over here if uh, it starts to peel if this is uh, too long so it reminds me of my bows and uh, some of the car steering uh, steering wheel as well but it says it's a lifetime warranty so maybe uh, i'll be able to change uh, change this if it's, it's, it's damaged so it comes uh, together with the uh, Sika gel so that it looks like there is a hook over here i suspect this is for those extra luggage you can actually hook and then there'll be a strap so it could be inside there um turning around this is the handle ah there's a nice nifty pocket and tag which is not too bad so auto retract um nice little small little bag that you can actually put a bottle over here or power bank or whatever that you want to put and uh, what is I, I think what is uh, really impressive here is that instead of one one side zipper they actually have um, actually have a two side zipper and uh, one of the one of the drawing point for uh, bricks and really is because this is actually on the outside and because it's on the outside i'm expecting the inside to be fully flat and uh, because it's fully flat you, you there's a less wasted space and um, you can see that a lot of the bags uh, they have this this whole items uh, this whole uh, handle which is on the internal part and because it's the internal part you will literally lose about an inch of a uh, usable space and uh, this says a lot 
especially when you are (uh) packing things like (uh) safety boots which I do ya so there's a the handle button on top I'm not going to open up all of this until I take a proper photo so this is really (uh) first time (uh) (uh) unboxing alright so quite sturdy up goes up really really high in fact it goes all the way up (uh) above my waist actually so (um) typically you will not be able you will not be able to walk with such a high high handle ya so it's always (uh) around the waist area which is just nice where you can actually put your bag on top and I can still lug it around alright okay so let's (uh) open up the inside on one hand operation and see how how easy this is (um) as you can see one of my hands actually holding my phone so bear with me with that alright laying it down and opening it up nice so this is how the internal of (uh) the bricks and really looks like (um) let me just refocus it back again so that is the (uh) compression straps (um) with a simple mechanism alright so pretty cool more silica gel so designed in US uh, and then this unit is made in Indonesia and compliance new material there's a serial number of this bag together with the uh, style so this tech is uh, aluminium okay good you can see flat so now um, the compression strap is also um, with uh, what we call elastic so that's great yeah you can just refocus back here so one of the one of the major uh, thing about this bricks and really is how actually actually expand and actually compress down again so so uh, let's see if I can do this one hand so this is the mechanism yeah so you're supposed to pull this out and uh, lift it up Maybe it's going to So there is a whole two inches of expansion where you can actually put all the things inside, close it up, and because this is an expansion, you can actually press it down so that it becomes a packing size again. So everything inside is going to be compressed. So that's uh, that's that's how it actually works. Eh? Instead of the zip instead of the zipper system um, over here there's a whole indention here uh, looks like another more space for you to store more things uh, let's see what's this about if I'm not mistaken I read it on the internet is uh, ah, the suit this is a suit carrier yeah, so this is going to be quite handy especially with those people that travel with a business suit so there is a the area for you to put your hanger and uh, basically to secure to secure it down so that the hanger doesn't run everywhere and um, another compression strap for you to hold the suit down and um, basically it goes all the way to the other side yeah so um, ah, there's a nifty feature over here that you can actually uh, remove if you don't carry don't plan to carry a suit and you can uh, literally use this as an additional storage space yeah so zip it up again double zipper very smooth zip i believe this is, should be ykk uh, maker of a world famous zip no it's not ykk maybe it's just a bricks and release own there's another another storage area here ah which is not deep this is basically just here and um, these are the additional things so i get a tsa a tsa approved lock number combination and also a strap which I believe um, is the yeah. So so if you if you are wondering what this strap actually does, is this. So let's see. So this is a compression strap uh, which allows you to carry um, another bag, right? So what you do is that uh, you hook this up here. Let's see how easy it is with one hand. Yeah, okay. And uh, leave it down here, alright? So this strap, literally, you can put another bag 
and uh, clip it here. So that become another holder, which is also adjustable. So you can have your hand free and uh, still being able to carry another thing over here. All right? So well, quite secure to pull out. Okay. So that's it for the uh, simple unboxing. Just to show you what uh, the bricks and really. Uh, it's about 10 minutes. Thank you for listening and uh, hopefully I'll be able to write a review on my blog soon. Okay, thank you.